you know when they're going to get those frames that come close. Robertson, for me, is going to be favours in those. OK, back we go. It's a better start then for the Aussie. Looks like a decent break-off shot. Well, only just, because that red was creeping up and nearly was available to the right middle, but I don't think it cuts in. He, he could hit it thin enough to to play the cut, but as Hawkeye tell, shows us, but can't hit much more than the edge of that red. Well, decided just to come off the side cushion. Well, was thinking of that. They've just got to be careful. There's a couple of loose reds just above the black. There's the red. I don't think it'll cut in. Well, he got down as though he was going to play this, and now all of a sudden he doesn't like it. I mean, it looks a formality just to come off the side cushion, but as I say, there's a few loose reds. He's got to be careful. He's got to get a good line here and good length. Decided to come off the two cushions. It's a bit narrow, but it's okay. Cheers, guys. John Virgo rocks. I haven't rocked for a long while, but thanks. Must have heard your bits and pieces the other day. <coughs> yeah, the old Dave Clark Five. Looks as though there's a path back to the ball, just thin off this red, twice across. Hmm, but didn't play it that well. I'm kissing the brown full in the face, dangerous thing to do with a potter of Neil Robertson's prowess. He'll put this red, I'll be surprised if he screws back on. I think he'll play for the blue here. He's not leaving a lot, I think, if he leaves the white where it is. Nice cue. Well, yeah, and the reason that was worth mentioning because when, when you try to put a little bit more pace into that shot, it does make the pot more difficult. Played it confidently and well. You won't be too happy with that Six. shot. I didn't. The white didn't have to be as close to the side cushion as that. Just a matter of stunning back a couple of inches. The black in the same pocket. Seven. It's always a danger when you're not exactly in position you say to yourself, well, <laughs> I shouldn't be here. Forty. It affects your next shot. Fifteen. Well, there was an option of playing for a the red at the end of the cluster, but I don't even get that now. He may have to play the cannon here. Well, he feels as though he can just drop the black in. But once again, he's run through a little bit too far. 22. But no problem. 23. And now this time, surely he's got to play the cannon. Yeah, the red directly above the black. He wants to stun into that half ball. Well, he's, he, he aimed very low in the white, and it's I've seen this week. It pushes the white out first before it comes back. I think the stun shot is, is a lot better way of playing Fifth. it. 
Yeah, particularly when you're playing at pace. The problem is, when you play the screw shot, as you say, it seems to go forward before the backspin takes effect. You may have a red to this right corner, but well, maybe not. It's tight. No, didn't play the pot. Neil Robertson third. Tried his best to get back to the ball, Ken. Didn't make a great job of it, but doesn't appear to have left anything easy. Good line, good length. Make sure all phones are turned off, please. This is his view, so he can't get back to ball. So just coming off the right hand side cushion, just nestling into these two reds. It's a careless four Five. points to, to give away. Sean Murphy four. Don't think much Sean can do but have it replaced, but you'd be surprised if he didn't hit them this time. Just have to get a little bit closer to the middle pocket, it appears. Well, the angle's not there. Foul. He couldn't get much closer to the middle Don't pocket without it hitting the knuckle. Now, could he see any red full ball? If he could, he may get a warning here. Let's let's listen. Hear what the referee has to say. No, no warning, so obviously he can't get through to hit a red full in the face. Otherwise, he would have been warned. Three misses, and you you lose the frame. But looks as though there's a possibility. Let's just have a look what Hawkeye could show us. Well, we just haven't got time to show you that, but, he's, but he realises the angle to it, those two reds isn't on. So just try to play a containing safety, and I think all things considered, has made a pretty good job of that. I think he probably did get a warning there. I just Sometimes the referees don't actually word it, the, f the full wording of the rule to the players. They just basically say, <laughs> so sometimes they say, you know, it's our, you know the rule, or something like that, something short. Oh. Maybe we should issue them with cards, yellows and reds and things. Too thick. Left this red right onto the right corner. Well, there's quite a bit to do with the cue ball. Black's tied up at the moment, pink's tied up, and he's got to try and find a path back to the balk end here. And in an effort to do that, Cause him to miss the pot.
Well, fine shot in more ways than one. Now that has opened this frame up, and that's an excellent safety shot from Sean. A great reply. The only thing is, as Sean went back to his seat, I was looking at Neil Robertson walking down and having a look at the potting angle on this red. It's a thin one, but he's got an eagle eye as his Aussie. But Corey, much too full and caught the red and now this table is in a better position for a break building opportunity the blacks in the open you certainly rely on the table when you play a thin cut at that pace don't you you can run over a finger mark a little bit of chalk and it's oh. sean that gets a good chance now Reds are spread, blacks available into at least